what's up guys this is Arda and yes this right here it's not my swag it's not a free-to-play it's not just any MMORPG this is World of Warcraft not the free private realms this is retail wow yes I know I'm actually playing World of Warcraft. I swore up and down. I cursed this game out. And I promised myself I would never, ever, ever, ever play this game again. But, looks like I'm playing again. I guess. I don't know. To be honest, right now there's no better game out there. Sad to say. Uh, I mean, I've tried Aeon. I've tried Perfect World. I've tried. I've tried AOC. I've tried Warhammer. I've tried. Uh, I've tried every game you could possibly think of from pay to play to free to play and wow just tops them all honestly I think this will conquer everything for a while for a really really long time until the blizzard makes a second addition to the game but I don't know we'll see when Guild Wars 2 comes out, but even when it does, I'm pretty sure WoW will still remain dominant, even though I love Guild Wars 2, but back to the video, yes, I'm playing World of Warcraft, and yeah, I decided to go uh, Horde, Butt Elf Paladin, you know, if anybody knows me, or for everyone that does know me, you know that I always play Tank. And if there's a Paladin class or there's a melee class that can heal somewhat, then I will always play that class. And yeah, that's usually the Paladin. So if any game has a Paladin, I will always go that class. So yeah, I'm, I'm going back. Blood off Pally. Horde, of course. I'm going to be playing with my friend uh, Chris. Chris the Beaner. <laughs> Team Arda. But um he's already level 80 he has uh he's already pretty much fully geared in a great raiding guild so yeah until i catch up to him i really doubt you're gonna see much of him in my videos but maybe if he makes an alt he'll be in some of my dungeons but yeah last I played uh, World of Warcraft uh, I played on the server XNR which is a PvE server and I played on the uh, Alliance to be honest it was kinda bad I mean um I don't know, I just didn't, like, the PvP wasn't that great, like, the alliance, I guess, in World of Warcraft is usually less PvP orientated, so I didn't really get the full enjoyment of the game, because I was always losing BGs, and it was hard for me to get Wintergrass points after I got, uh, higher level to get trinkets and etc but yeah and the BGs I usually lost so like Alteric Valley I think I won that maybe once and I had that character for almost a month or longer and I maybe won Alteric Valley once that whole time but yeah uh, I guess yeah, Alliance is really handicapped in World of Warcraft unless you go on a server that's 
there's a few servers that Alliance is dominant in PvP and PvE, but as far as I can tell, the majority of the server, the majority of the servers are horde controlled, and uh, yeah, I guess I just hopped on the bandwagon, but the main reason why I'm horde right now is because my friend Chris. I really wanted to play with him, so that's what I'm doing. So started a blood off pally server Illidan PvP. Uh, character name Articus. Add me if you're on here, but uh, yeah. I, basically, in the video, I'm just doing the the starter zone quest. Nothing exciting whatsoever. It's all pretty, pretty mundane, pretty me menial tasks. Not too exciting. I think, yeah, I died. I died in the starter zone. Call me a noob if you like, but those are some pretty tough lynxes or cats, whatever you want to call them, pussy cats. Yeah. That pussy whipped me. Yeah, that, uh, I wasn't really paying attention when I died, so that's my excuse, but yeah. These starter zones are really, really, really easy. Um. So basically, I'm just going to start a video series for World of Warcraft. I'm probably just going to be showing uh, my pally leveling for a while until I get to 80. I'm not sure how long that will take because I played Wrath of the Lich King and now it's Cataclysm so I'm not really sure how long it will take to get to 80. But. Uh, I'm sure it shouldn't take me too long, so I'll probably be releasing videos of me uh, tanking instances because I plan on going tank spec and just uh, random Q dungeoning all the way to 80. Because I don't know, that seems like the, the easiest way to go. If you're a tank, you pretty much get insta queued, so uh, that that should be the easiest way to level and the fastest way to level for me uh, even though I am a pretty good quester for Horde and Alliance I know what most of the quests are but I have the random Q feature so I'm going to use that and abuse that that's a really good feature I wish a lot more other games had it but I guess World of has been out for so long they have a lot of features that other games don't have like uh, the random queue, like some of the party features, some of the the frame quest features, the guild features, glyph features. There's just a lot of extra stuff, a lot of uh, a lot of some stuff that doesn't matter, but it kind of increases uh, enjoyment of the game. So I don't know. It's just some stuff like that that I enjoy, or some features that I like. But as you can see, starting of the game, uh, my EXP bar is increasing pretty steadily. Actually, when I started the game, I don't know if I I took footage of it, but some guy invited me to a guild. So I just went ahead and accepted, and uh, with guilds, they have features like uh, you get extra EXP for leveling. So, uh, I mean, you get extra EXP for being in that guild. Like, you get perks, and for killing monsters, you get uh, you get um, bonus EXP for just from killing monsters. So, it's only 10%, but... I don't know. I, I think that's going to help once I'm doing dungeons because 
most of my EXP from dungeons is gonna come from those killing monsters. Even though there is uh, EXP rewards at the end, but I think that's gonna help substantially as I'm leveling. So I'm just gonna stay in that guild until I get to a higher point and actually can join a, a decent guild. But it seems like a pretty high level guild, but yeah. Hey, ding. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. So, uh, see you later, guys.